uh, War Gamers, it's Harry from Tabletop Banter, uh, and today we're taking a look at Age of Sigmar, uh, which we've not taken a look at before. Uh, so we've now got some models, and we're just going to show you a very sort of basic game today. So first of all, I'm going to show you Forces of Chaos. Um, here they are. We've got a Chaos Lord and two lots of Chaos Warriors, one with So, as my hero, I have a, oh goodness, Glade, G Glade Lord, I think it's Glade Lord? Glade Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And these are my Glade Guard, Glade Lords are in a Glade Guard, so um, lots of archers, uh, 15 of them with a banner, and a Lord Bowman, which is this fellow just here. Um, like I said, yeah, sorry for the unpainted models, we just went out and got them literally just now, today. Very excited. So we're just going to be playing on this sort of 4x4, four four. we don't have much terrain, seems we've been you know, doing 4k, we don't really know much what terrain there is supposed to be, we don't need to signal, um, but we're just, we're just going to have a, a blast, roll some dice, and uh, see what this game is like. Turn one for the chaos. Um, as you can see, I've got more guys over there. It turns out the chaos have got this ridiculous hero special rule where on a four plus I bring any unit on um, from the Slaves of Darkness army. It doesn't specify how many or what they can do really. So um, just five guys, that's all I've got. Um, and it's five within five inches of any board edge, which I think is ridiculous. I was trying not to be too mean and put them right next to them. Uh, but I stuck them there. And it wasn't clear what the sort of reinforcements were was, so we said that they're not moving or charging after um, bringing in, you know, having them come in from board which I think is fair, because um, that would be a bit ridiculous, because yeah. they wouldn't have to charge and probably give them first turn. Uh, everyone here just moved and ran. Uh, basically, we are closing in the Shadow of Chaos. So we'll move on to Callum's turn and see what he can pull out of the bag. Right, so that was uh, Wood Elf, turn one. And as you can see, they shot a lot of fancy arrows into the guys over there uh, and wiped them out. So your hero used his uh, once again ability, where it is a minus three rend. No, no, he has a once again ability where instead of shooting three shots, oh, he gets to it, shoot three yeah. d six shots from his arrow. Yeah. So he has quantity, and he piled them into there. You only got what? How many shots did you get? You didn't get too many. Oh, seven total shots, and then seven like four hits. Shots. Yeah. So those guys are the ones with the. Um, Minus three rend once again ability, which I yeah. used this time as well. So you got those down to one and a half guys, and then you charge and wipe them out. So pretty successful in wiping out some guys that uh, technically weren't part of my army. Um, so <laughs> congratulations, <laughs> how do you feel about that? Yeah, I feel great actually. Uh, yeah. Best I've ever felt. Fantastic. Right, so we will now roll uh, for the next turn. Yeah, let's see who gets to choose who goes, who goes first. Getting a three. That is a three. That is a that three. Is a three. No, Dramatic no. purposes. That's a four. That's a, that's six. a six. Would you like to go first? I would like to go first. I would not like you to go first. <laughs> so we will get on to Chaos Turn 2.
blood gods that's what we're going for just everyone keep running not shooting so I may as well and uh, yet again I rolled a four so those guys are back um, them over there just because I like to be a bit sneaky hopefully draw those guys in a bit closer um, so that's about it really um, Callum it's turn two it's um it's Callum's turn two uh, and he killed some stuff um, he shot his hero at my lord and probably down to six wounds that's because we're counting him as uh, Mark of Nurgle because with his, got his double axes it's re-rolling the two wounds uh, to hit sorry and giving him Mark of Corn just means he can re-roll one so there's no point in giving that so I gave him Mark of Nurgle even though it's gone sort of deep on me so he had seven wounds uh, he's now got six um, so you know he's looking in trouble um, is he ever? Yes, yeah, so that, that, that's, that's getting a bit intense over there. Uh, and then these guys lost three guys, two to the shooting, and then one to bravery. I lost six of my bravery tests. Um, I lost one model uh, from that. So now it will go into. Well, we have to roll a. We have to roll a dice. We have yeah. to roll a dice. Here is a, a roll dice. Roll on on a dice. Um, yeah, here we go. I'm oh. going to go. Definitely going to go first. Thank you. So guys, just to make sure this was not statistical. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's interesting, so <laughs> you know that's to be expected. So we will now roll on to chaos turn three. So we're coming to the end of chaos turn three, or turn, turn three. four. Turn three. Coming to the end of chaos turn three, and as you can see, everyone's moved up, and over here, the lord managed to move up and get a. It was a ten inch charge, wasn't it? Uh, it was a nine inch he needed. He got eleven. So there is an epic duel happening up here, and he has got how many hits has he got so, so far? Ten wounds. Ten wounds. I've got to save now. Ten wounds. You've got to save. So let's see it. Three, four. He's still alive. Four. He is still alive. Turn. Callum actually managed to do one wound uh, to the Chaos Lords. He is now on four wounds. Um, as we said, everyone here has moved up, so we are going to go for the roll to see who gets next turn. Two for me, and it's a four for Callum. Yeah, I'm going to go first. <laughs> He's going first, so we will roll into Rudel's turn. So we are in Wood Elves turn four, and there's been a lot of shooting at my lord. So he is on two wounds now, and now it is the Glade Lord uh, turn, and I'm to go to the face of my Chaos Lord. And we got, was it three? Three wounds? We currently have three wounds. Four up save. And these are four up saves.
lost uh, three. You lost three, <coughs> sorry, and then one, one to bravery. So uh, four in total. I'll go on to Chaos Turn 5. Quick turn recap there. Um, these guys moved up. I tried a cheeky 10 inch charge uh, and failed. Um, Should have run them, but never mind. Uh, the guys over there uh, basically just butchered the remaining two wood elves. Um, so there has been blood spilled for the blood god on this day. And we shall chase as we go into. Well, we're going to roll, roll off the last turn of the game. We're going to roll off the last turn of the game. Yeah, we decided to go to six turns for time reasons, and um, it just makes sense. Our 40k background yeah. says that's what's right. So yeah, roll off. I am going to go first. <laughs> Whoa. I'm cheeky. First. So we will go into what else? Turn six. Six. Right, so here we have it, the end of turn six, and as we have discussed, the end of the game. Uh, so we rolled chaos into um, what else altogether, because it was such a short turn. Um, as you can see, he ran away, killed two of them, uh, caused three wounds, and the rest of the chaos just moved up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to say this is a chaos victory uh, because of their points value. Um, of course, it's a sigma; they don't have points. Of course, yeah. But for our um, composition uh, system, we decided to go with the scrollbuilder.com one, where it basically gives um, a small number of points value. So this is one point. Five of these guys are one point. Um, so we decided to go off that. So obviously, with Harry having nine models left and each five being a point, you have one point well, eight models. Technically two, I'd say, because this one is a summoned uh, True. model. True. Uh, but you still only got one, so. Yeah, yeah. Either way, ha uh, it's a minor chaos victory. Either way, it would have just progressed to me running this corner with all the other death. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. rolls of one, as you can see. There's a lot of death in this corner, and that's where you would be his death. <laughs> so. That's been our first ever Age of Sigmar game. Right, so that was our first game of Age of Sigmar. It certainly was, yeah. Um, I thought that was good fun. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. So we thought, you know, we've got Legion Life coming up and we're going to be talking about Age of Sigmar in Legion Life. Not many people who really know what's happening in the Age of Sigma um, in the Legion, so we thought we'd, you know, we'd give it a try. Yeah, the uh, Sigma connoisseurs, if you will. Exactly, so we uh, took a trip to town, went to Games Workshop, and we said we were going to you know, buy a box each, so you're looking at 20 to 25 pounds. Yeah, um, yeah. Games um, we went Wood Ales, I went Chaos, um, and in the boxes, we, we each built up heroes. Yeah, I mean, with the boxes, the two boxes we picked, you get 16 miniatures, so uh, I thought a squad of 15 and a hero model was kind of standard, I thought that worked quite well. Um, so I built up, uh, hopefully it'll be alright to see. This is my Glade Lord, so bow and sword, kind of cool, gave him the special cape, mounted the model warrior shield, and just made sure it was opposed like a leader. Um, so that's what I decided to do, came out quite nicely, and the rest of the minis are actually really pleasant to put together as well. So. Definitely worth get thinking about if you want to do some kind of skirmish game or smaller, smaller or bigger game. So yeah, what about you? It's quite easy. The Chaos Warriors, what I found, were good, good fun to build. Actually, very easy to build. Not much posability in them. I managed to get a it was a, it's a forty mil Terminator base, um, and he's holding a you know he's holding a head. He's he's supposed to be with his two axes, but I'll just use instead he's holding the head of a wood elf. Using a, holding the head of a wood elf by its ponytail. And there's even this cute little thing which I was like. A, and that's actually from the Wood Sprue. Um, and that's, yeah. that, that's just the aspiring champion model, really. Um, and and they just raise him up a little bit on the Fist of Sprue just to make a lord. So it's perfectly feasible to have um, a fully playable army for 25 win. Because I really enjoyed that game. Yeah, so did I. It was really fun. You don't need yeah. massive numbers of models to have fun. That's exactly. the big thing. Like, Okay, for me, it's slightly harder because Wood Elves are um, really, really like weak as an individual model, so you have to take bigger units. Um, I'm going to be going for all the elves. I say all the elves. I'm going to go wood elves and high elves for my army because I like both. I like the wood elves for their archers. <coughs> I think they look really cool. But I also want to do some spearmen and have some stuff from the high elves. Um, I mean, it was more a coincidence that I fell into wood elves. But they're actually really, really nice models. And the kits for wood elves are very extensive. Um, you get 40 heads for 16 models. All the heads. So many heads. So I, I've got all the spare heads. If anyone needs any wood elf heads, uh, shoot me a message because I've got. 
but the, as far as the game goes, I thought it was really enjoyable. Um, it plays quite nicely, doesn't it? It, plays, it does play nicely, and there are, there are so many more tactics to it than people believe. And it's very easy for us to just say, model to model, what's that about? I don't really like that. You know, we're coming from a point you know, where we're used to measuring from base to base, and all of these guys are on 30, 32 foot bases, they're not going over, over the top base size. Exactly, yeah. So measuring for bases, you know, we've got that rule, and it'll work fine. Um, and, you know, using that sort of point system and this empty turn six, but, you know, um, we don't have five hours to resolve our game. We'll just chase, <laughs> chase wheels across the board, because at the end of the day, that was two units against each other, pretty much the same. So yeah. there wasn't that much flexibility in what was, what was going on. It was pretty much like chasing you and then... Go to me. <laughs> but <laughs> I think, you know, even if I, you know, I chucked in some marauders or something, and then you've got some spearmen in there or a bolt throw, you know, that is... It's all these different of, things. A lot of diversity in game, but not... It's not, not a not huge... True. Uh, costing. I think the big thing I'm going to really focus on when Legion Live comes up tomorrow. I mean, you'll see, be seeing this video a bit later on, uh, so if you haven't got, uh, so go check out the Legion Live for more discussion. But the main point I'm going to make is, I bought a box today uh, of 16 miniatures. It cost me 20 quid, and I played a game when I got home. Uh, if I wanted to play a game of fantasy, I would have had to buy three boxes of those, three boxes of another unit, and a book, uh, and a book two books, rule book. yeah, rule book and a, a like a codex. And then I would have had to build all of those just to play a small game of fantasy. So this £20 to enter the game is pretty amazing. Mm. And having them each as characters, that was a, that big thing for me. I remember years and years ago when I played a little bit of fantasy, um, building regiments of guys was an absolute pain in the ass. Yeah, yeah. all, all spears have, have to go like this and all shields have oh, to go yeah, like this. Crazy. So so. I, think, I think this is a, a nicer step because you've got the complex rule systems of 40k, um, which is that's now there. Their bread and butter, isn't it? Bread really? and butter, their big yeah. game. Tons of rules. Uh, lots of people arguing. Um, <laughs> you need to buy everything. You spend hundreds of pounds. Fantastic, love it. You've got their sort of little games. Uh, the so board games and that. Execution Force, all that that's come out. Those, those are sort of income up for value games. Then you've got games like this, which you know we even pick up some toy soldiers in them, which wish you could with any. Really yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the big thing. Like, I think with the Age of Sigma, the community hasn't built it up to play like 500 models each, yeah. even though the rules allow it. Like. Okay, here's the thing. The one thing with Age of Sigma, the one thing I will say is don't play someone who's going to be an arse yes. because you won't have fun. Um, there I, are so many ways you can break the game. I, I, could, have talk have, about I, it. I could have just brought that, that rule, which was... Um, Summon a unit, day, that's, that's a single unit. It doesn't specify how big the unit is. You could have brought 100 guys on my board edge. Yeah, there's so just, it's when, how many I could fit in on five inches of board. I could have just brought in a thousand men. Yeah. Yeah. So the, rule, the big rule with Age of Sigma is don't play an arse because then you just end up unhappy. Um, what you do instead is you find a friend, uh, or if not, you know, put up with Harry, and then, <laughs> jokes of course, uh, and then you play out a nice game, and you will have fun. It is a really fun game, so yeah, that pretty much concludes it is, it, what, it is, I mean, what we were saying, it is, it is just tabletop banter. It is tabletop banter. So yeah, as ever, thanks for watching. Yes, um, it's been me. Me, Callum. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Let us know what you thought. And um, yeah, brilliant. Don't forget.